Harford County Councilman Aaron Penman is accusing Harford County Executive Bob Cassily of spying on him. Well, I had a confidential source come to me and uh, acknowledge that uh, the county uh, executive administration um, were pulling my phone records, uh, pulling uh, my email correspondence uh, to myself and five other members of the community. Harford County Councilman Aaron Penman alleges the activity started in May after he filed a complaint with a state prosecutor claiming Harford County Executive Bob Cassily illegally transferred $7 million from the general fund to cover emergency services expenses without council approval. Based off of what I've seen and what I've turned over, I think we have a real trust issue with the county executive's administration. And if uh, they're willing to do this, what else are they willing to do? In a statement, Cassily's office contends Councilman Penman refused to cooperate with the executive branch inquiry regarding his allegations. Officials say at no time did the executive branch monitor the councilman's emails or cell phone, adding, this is the second time in the past two months that Councilman Aaron Penman has made wholly unfounded, malicious and slanderous allegations of criminal misconduct by the Cassily administration. It is a distraction and it's a stain on our local democracy. You know, you have separate branches of, of government for a reason. You have the legislative branch, which I'm a part of, and you have the executive branch. And there has to be a distinction between them. And if you have one spine on the other, it's really bad for our community. Voters agree. It's all about the community. Uh, it always is about the community. Um, Fuse like that can damage the community as a whole. They should be all joined together. We should work together, not against each other. I think they really should put their differences aside. The Harford County Sheriff's Office is taking the complaint seriously. Since Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylor is named as a potential victim, his investigators will report directly to the state's attorney's office. His office issued a statement writing, if founded, this case is particularly egregious, as Maryland boasts some of the most comprehensive and stringent wiretapping laws in the nation, emphasizing the protection of citizens' privacy. Councilman Penman wants Cassley and those directly involved to go on a leave of absence until the investigation is completed. Reporting from Bel Air, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.